Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Dinosaur Channel. My name is Tall, and this is your home on YouTube for all things dinosaur and prehistoric. On this channel, we are taking quick dives into every single dinosaur from the Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom franchise and movie, and today, we're covering the Sinoceratops. But before we do that, we want to make sure you leave us a dinosaur-sized thumbs up, comment down below your favorite dinosaur, and subscribe to this channel and turn on the notifications so you don't miss a single dinosaur quick dive we do in the future. And with that being said, Let's dive right into the Sinoceratops. So, the Sinoceratops was a big old dinosaur, and its name means Chinese horned face. So where and when exactly did this dinosaur exist? Well, the Sinoceratops existed during the late Cretaceous period of the Mesozoic era, about like 60-ish, 70-ish million years ago, and it roamed the ancient lands of what is now China. So what exactly did this horned face giant look like? Well, to begin, it had a giant horn on its face. So that's good. Are you surprised the dinosaur named Chinese Horned Face has a giant horn on its face? I'm not. These dinosaurs actually come from a family of dinosaurs called Ceratopsians. These are animals like the Triceratops with horns and frills all over their faces. And the Sinoceratops was no exception of that. And these Sinoceratops, oh, these boys were big. These guys having some of the largest skulls of Ceratopsians known to science. As well, they clocked into about 20-ish feet and could be anywhere from six feet tall. That's crazy tall. So is the Sinoceratops even popular? Well, the simple answer is no, it's not. At least not till now. The Sinoceratops up till about 2018 was virtually unknown, at least not in the pop culture world. It's had brief cameos in different games and videos and stuff before, but now, being one of the star roles in Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, it's about to get a whole new wave of popularity. This dinosaur pretty much stole the spotlight from everyone's favorite herbivore, the Triceratops, in Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom when it had a fight with the Carnotaurus. As well, it kind of licked Chris Pratt's face and then got its tail burned by lava and started running. Really interesting scene. I loved it. It was a very interesting choice. Also, I'm not gonna lie, the Sinoceratops looks pretty badass in Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. It is a very, very cool looking dinosaur. But we should note that the actual planning for the Sinoceratops was changed very last moment. The dinosaur that was supposed to be there instead of Sinoceratops was actually called Pachyrhinosaurus. Pachyrhinosaurus also comes from the Ceratopsian family having some horns and frills on its face, but this thing was changed last moment in favor of the Sinoceratops. And lastly, what did the Sinoceratops eat and how did it behave? Well, the old Sinoceratops was an herbivore, no surprise to anyone. We don't have exact proof of material that it ate and plants it ate, but we can assume that it ate pretty much anything that a normal Triceratops or Ceratopsian would have eaten 67-ish million years ago. As well as behavior, there's not much evidence on it, but we can make inferences that it behaved like other Ceratopsians. But in the case of behavior, animals in different regions of the world don't always behave the same, so we can't say for certain that it exactly acted one for one how the Triceratops did, but we can assume it probably did. And if more data comes out, we're gonna keep you dino updated. And that's it for the Sinoceratops, ladies and gentlemen. That is another dinosaur episode done. I think a pretty short one for today. Sinoceratops is not a crazy amount of information on this dinosaur since it was recently discovered or recently named. That being said, I want to make sure that you subscribe to this channel if you're new here and turn on that notification button so you don't miss another quick dive of another dinosaur we do because we're covering all the dinosaurs from Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. As well, leave me a dinosaur sized thumbs up and comment down below a dinosaur that you would like to see in the future. As well, if you like this channel and you want to help support it, you can send us a donation our PayPal link is down in the description below. And just as a side note, no, not the scientific one, but for those of you guys who are really dedicated to this channel and comment on every video and watch every video, which I love you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much. I'm happy that I'm able to provide you guys with all this cool dino information. I do want some suggestions because we are coming up on our last real dinosaur, <laughs> the Gallimimus, which is going to be the next episode. But after that, we've pretty much covered every single dinosaur from Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom besides Blue specifically, the blue, the Velociraptor, and the Indoraptor, which both are not real animals. So I'm planning on taking a brief hiatus after we finish the Fallen Kingdom dinosaurs, just kind of recuperate and figure out exactly what we're going to cover for the rest of the time on our channel. But I'd like suggestions from you guys to see what else you'd like to see. And do you guys care if we cover some of the fake dinosaur hybrids, maybe like the Indominus Rex, Indoraptor, Blue, maybe the whole Raptor Squad? I'd be interested in hearing what you guys have to say because I am trying to closely tie in as much of Jurassic World, the series of franchise, into this channel as possible. And with that being said, I'm going to see you guys next time when we cover the Gallimimus. I love you long time. 
Love you a long time. <laughs> That's not this channel. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. Oh, goodbye.